Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to take a look at a few of the new features inside of Lightroom, but first, please check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more content. When you update Lightroom and you open your catalog, you will get this message. Essentially, Lightroom is telling you, hey, we need to upgrade your catalog. It is perfectly acceptable to just click upgrade and move on. You will not lose your photos, your work, your presets, everything will be there. Adobe recently released version 12 of Lightroom, and as you can see, there are some really fun, new, exciting features around AI-powered masking, specifically new adaptive presets for portraits. Now, this is why that matters. When you make a selection in Lightroom, say on on the face or maybe the eyes or the teeth, you were unable to adapt that to a portrait where the positioning was different. But now that we have adaptive presets, it's really quite powerful. Let's take a look. We can select the new masking features by clicking on the masking tool or pressing shift W on the keyboard. And you'll see that this dialog box has changed from the previous version. We now have subject, sky, and background. And we also see a way to select objects inside of Lightroom. This is a really big deal because previously we were unable to make specific selections using this tool. But you'll also notice that we have this new area called people. And if we hover over that, you'll see that the selection is in fact the person in the photo. But if you expand it by clicking it, you can also select all of these items separately. This is what makes this tool so powerful. But first, I'm actually going to close that panel and show you that Lightroom did ship with some new presets. Specifically, I'm going to run this adaptive portrait called Glamour Portrait. So I'm going to select this preset. It's gonna take Lightroom a second to generate this preset because it is creating all of these new masks. So, whoops, there we go. There are all of the masks for this image. So you can see that teeth, lips, iris, pupil, hair, all of these have been selected separately. And then if you select one of them by clicking it, you can see that the sliders have changed just for that area. And I've got to tell you, I think this was actually very impressive to me that it was able to do it as quickly as it did. You can obviously make adjustments once these are selected and you can come over here and even change the amount of this preset. Obviously you can play with these other presets wherever it says adaptive, it is using the AI engine to make a selection. So I think you should experiment with these because they actually do a pretty good job. But let's take a look at how we can apply this ourselves. I'm going to choose the masking tool and I'm waiting for Lightroom to detect her. Again, you'll notice this may take a couple of seconds for you depending on your machine, but let's select her and then we're just gonna choose her face skin. Actually, no, let's choose the body skin. So I'm going to unselect that or uncheck it, excuse me. But did you also notice that if I had multiple things checked, I could create three separate masks by checking this box. And I would recommend that you do that because it's not often, if you're selecting multiple things, that you would want to apply the same change to all three of these items. If you do not check that and you just choose create mask, you're going to get one mask for those items. And I don't think that's the best approach. So what I would actually like to do is I want to select her face skin, her body skin and her teeth, because it seems to me that that's what I focus on the most in portraits like this. I'm going to make sure three separate masks is checked, and then I'm going to create this mask. So we can see those in the mask panel, and now it's time to make some adjustments. 
And I think I would actually like to rename these. So let's click the three little dots, choose rename. We will call this face. This one is her body. And then lastly, we have her teeth. Okay, great. I am going to uncheck show overlay. I'm going to drop down until I find the soften skin that ships with Lightroom. You'll notice I have a ton of presets here. I have these all available on the Flourish Academy website, but let's choose soften skin. And all it does is take clarity down to negative 100, which I cannot tolerate. <laughs> so I'm actually going to pull up on that and then down on the texture. This is what I like to use for skin softening. Let's take a look at how this looks before and after. It still feels like it might be a little bit strong for us, but obviously you can adjust that to your preference. So let's do the same for body. And for the body, I am going to select soften skin light. And that usually works pretty well. And for the teeth, I could select teeth whitening and we could look at all of these masks off and then on. Let's zoom in so we can see that a little bit better. Okay, all masks off. This is the before and then on. I think that looks pretty amazing. However, where it gets really interesting is creating presets. So what I would like to do next is create a preset. I am going to check none and I am going to choose masking teeth, body, face. And I am going to name this because I'm incredibly creative. F-A, teeth, body, and face. Now the reason I selected check none is because I might want to use other presets or make other adjustments and I don't want this preset to wipe those out, which is what they would do if these were all selected. So that's why I unchecked all of them and I'm just using the masking and I'm going to click create. Next, and this is the most fun, is selecting another image. So we're zoomed in, let's zoom out. And let's select FA teeth, body, face from the FA tests folder. And look at that, look at that teeth, body, face. Let's zoom in. Did it place these correctly? Let's turn this off and then on. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Very exciting, life-changing. Okay, that sounds dramatic, but this is a big deal because you could not do this previously. If you did not wish to whiten the teeth, you could simply click the visibility icon next to it or the same with the body. You could turn that off and on pretty easily. So I will include this preset for free. You can download it via the link below if you'd like to grab it. You could also create your own, but this is pretty exciting news. One quick last test I would like to run on this preset is what if I have an image without teeth. So let's go ahead and select this preset. And remember, this video is not meant to be an extensive look at all of the new features in Lightroom. I just wanted to explore some of the AI masking. So I ran that preset. Let us look at the mask panel. Interesting. What is going on there? Okay. The teeth has a little exclamation point next to it, which I'm assuming means it did not find any, and that's what I would expect to happen. What I didn't want was an error message, and I didn't get one. But something interesting happened with the body. So let's go ahead and show these mask overlays. Okay, so the face mask looks pretty good if I select it, yes. But if I select the body, Oh, it actually did do a good job. I thought it had selected something in the background. I saw something interesting, but maybe not. Okay, that's great. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.